welcome back to my channel and I've got my very first Stitch Fix unboxing in, I don't know, over two months. Wow, I can't believe it's been two months since I brought y'all a Stitch Fix, but it has. Okay, Stitch Fix was the very first like subscription box I ever did. And I've been doing these boxes now for a little over three years. And I would say Stitch Fix is still my very favorite box for a lot of reasons. I don't know, they're just a really good fit for me. I'm not super trendy, although I like to be in style. Um, I'm not real fashion forward. So some of my other boxes get me a little too fashion forward. So, but Stitch Fix is always great. Stitch Fix clothes fit me well. Um, I think they're good quality. I don't know, I've just always loved Stitch Fix and maybe it's because it was the very first box I ever did. So I kinda, you know, it has a special place in my heart. Not that I don't love my other boxes too. But I love my Stitch Fix. Hey. Shh. Ivy is really struggling with me working again with videos. She just does not know what to do. She's sitting right over there looking at me like, Mother, are we really doing this? <laughs> I wish I could see her. Hang on. There she is. She's like, hello. <laughs> she, she is determined to be up here with me. Oh my goodness. I don't know how I'm going to break this. All right. You know, maybe I should go back to the bench out there. She never, hardly ever would get up on that bench because it just was, <laughs> just was not enough room. She just snorted at me. Did y'all hear that? Okay. Let's just get to the box. I'll ignore her and she'll get down or she'll lay down. Well, epic dog mom fell. I thought she was just being difficult. No, she needed to go out. She <laughs> she made it very clear. Um, you're going to have to take me out. You have to take me out now. So, she's fine now. Back to Stitch Fix. All right, let's get in here. All right, so if you're not familiar with Stitch Fix, um, they will send you five items. It's a $20 styling fee. Is that right? I think that's right. $20 styling fee. Anything you keep, that $20 goes towards it. If you keep all five, you get 25% off the whole box. That's called a five out of five. And if you've ever watched me before, you know I am prone to five out of fives. I've gotten a few. All right, you usually work pretty close with a stylist. Um, I had one stylist for the longest time. Her name is Leslie. And then I kind of quit getting her. And so I have no idea who styled this box. We're about to find out. They also send you a style preview. I get the style preview and I always look at it and always say yes or no. I, I'm trying to think. I said yes to one thing one thing in this style preview, and then they filled my box with the rest, because that's what they'll do. If you pick one thing, then they'll put four more things in there, and you don't know what it is until they ship it, because you know, you can always do that little sneak peek once it's shipped. You can pretend like you're checking out on the app, and you'll see everything that's coming. Scott says it's like opening presents before Christmas. I disagree. Anyway, <laughs> okay, let me get it out. And you know, he's got a stitch fix coming, so. So my next Stitch Fix video will be a duo unboxing. I am excited about that. I'm ready. He hadn't had one in a long, long time. All right, here's my little bundle, the little burrito. This is the thing I said, yes, send me. So I see some white jeans. Oh, y'all, jeans are not a fun thing for me right now, period. But white jeans, oh dear. This, this might not be good. All right, let's get in here and see what she sent me and I'll pull open and I'll look at my invoice here in a second and see who my stylist is. All right, let's do that first. So in your little envelope that comes in the box, you get your invoice and you get your style cards with a note from your stylist. So a style card is just, it'll put the item that they sent you, it'll pair it with either things they know you already have because you purchased it from them or just other common, you know, things that a person might have in their wardrobe to give you ideas of how to wear things. See? My stylist's name is Jill. Okay. 
Wow. She, <laughs> she got, she was, she made it very personable. I like that. She says, hi, Melissa, and happy May Fix Day. How are you? I hope this finds you well and that you're having a great week in Lindale. Uh, I'm so excited to be styling you for your fix number. Are y'all ready for this? 69. Ooh, so that means my next one's a big milestone. Fix number 70. I don't know what I'm going to do when I hit fix number 100. I think I need to do a celebration of some sort. Y'all tell me what you think I ought to do. Am I crooked? My, I don't, I don't know if I'm just out of practice or if my, um, <laughs> If my tripod is off, I, I don't know, y'all. Every time I sit down and look at this, I'm like, I feel crooked. All right. Let me see what I got here. All right. I, it's not bad, y'all. Oh, I have a $25 credit. That means somebody out there used my referral link. So the thing with Stitch Fix is anytime you order from Stitch Fix, when you become a member, you get your own referral code and it's typically $25 for everybody. So like if you sign up using my link, you're going to get $25 off your box, your first box, and I'm going to get $25 credit towards my next box. But then if a friend wants to use your link, then they'll get 25 and so will you. And that's how it works. And every now and then they'll give us like a bigger one, like $50 or $100. I've gotten those a few times. So uh, somebody evidently used my referral link and I have a $25 credit. So that's awesome. That's exciting. So this box, if I kept everything, the subtotal is $264 with my discounts plus the credit would bring it down to $173. And my rule of thumb is always, if a Stitch Fix 5 out of 5 is under $200, that's a good deal. Because that's, you know, average $40 a piece. That's very reasonable for the quality of clothes that they send you. So, I'm happy. I'm happy about this box. Let's get into it. Oh, I put my invoice up. I need to keep this out so I can tell you how much things are. God, y'all just realized I have to do a try-on. I haven't done a try-on in forever. This is going to feel weird. Okay, here we go. This first piece is by 41 Hawthorne. It is navy blue. Hold on, y'all. It's a little flutter sleeve, tie front, navy blue, just kind of crepey. You know, it's polyester, but it, it's not scratchy. It's flowy. I like it. That's pretty. It's just plain navy blue. Oh, <laughs> So, all thumbs. I feel so out of practice. Okay. It is by, yeah, I said who it's by. 41 Hawthorne. It's $44. <laughs> Maisie is taking up her position and she is sleeping. All right. This next top, I like this color just looking at it, but I don't know how it's going to be on me. Uh, this is by Market and Spruce. Um, hang on. All these tags. All right, <clears throat> has pleating at the top like the yoke. It uh, has little cap kind of sleeves. It looks like it's lined. You know, it's got a, cause it's see-through. So it is, yeah, it's lined. So you don't have to worry about wearing something under it. I like that. Um, Y'all, I, I just don't know how that color will be on me. What do you, I don't know. We'll see, we'll see. Of course, right now, I'm just to be honest. I'm having a hard time with any color. My hair going back dark has thrown me for what colors look good on me. It's weird because I honestly always thought that as far as like what colors you should wear had nothing to do with your hair color, just your skin tone. I don't think that's right. I think it actually includes your hair color. So I don't know. I've never had my colors done. I've always wanted to do that. So anyway, and I am pasty pale. I am so, so pale. And so I got to start getting out in the sun. So I'm struggling with that. Okay. Anyway, I'm just, I'm just you know me. Y'all forgot how chatty I am. All right. This is the one thing that I said, yes, please send. And y'all, when I said send it, so I'm filming this on Saturday and uploading it on Saturday. And tomorrow is Mother's Day. So all you mamas out there, happy, happy Mother's Day. So um, we're taking my mom to lunch. And so I kind of felt like I wanted to wear a dress. And so I said, send this. Now, I don't know if I'll wear it. It's going to depend on how it fits. It is by French Gray, and it's it's kind of a brushed knit. So here's, I didn't, I am so bad about not reading the details. I just look at something and go, oh, that's cute. And I say, yes, send it. I need to start looking at the details because 
you know, this type of brushed knit type material, sometimes it can be really clingy and I don't like clingy ever and especially not now. But I love this print and brush knit, believe, I don't know if you realize this, can be really warm, it can be really warm. And we are coming into the summer months. So I'm gonna have to really love this dress to keep it. And it's a shame because it's so cute. But anyway, here it is. It's got a tie front. Yeah, it's got a tie front uh, buttons. Here's the print. Isn't that print pretty? I just love, love those colors. I mean, yeah, those colors are me. I'm trying to decide, is the background black or navy blue? I think it's navy blue. I don't know. What do y'all think? Is it, maybe it's black? I don't know. All right. French gray, Dillia knit flutter sleeve dress in mint. So I guess that's the flowers. $54. So that's really cute. Okay. Here's the jeans, white jeans, you guys. These are by 1822 Better Butter Denim. <laughs> There's no distressing I saw in the preview, not the preview, but when I did the fake, like I'm checking out so I can see what it is thing. There's no distressing. They're just cropped straight, I think. Maybe a little flare at the bottom. White jeans. Yeah, this they're just white jeans. Yeah, white jeans, y'all. This ought to be fun. <laughs> okay, how much are those jeans? Those white jeans are by 1822 Denim, and they are mid-rise. Oh, that's even funner. And um, they're $58. So, I like the brand 1822, though. Okay, this is by one of my favorite brands, Mason & Bell. And y'all, I think I have a top made like this. It's just a different print. It's white, but I like this. It's kind of a crepey, flowy. I love this kind of teal color mixed with the navy blue. Um, this is like it, and the way I know it is the lace. The lace in the back, because I remember when I got that top, I was like, I don't know about the lace, and I just wasn't sure about keeping it. And then I, but I loved the print on it and I actually really liked the way it fit. And so I was like, yeah, I'm going to get it. And y'all, I loved it. I wore it and wore it and wore it. I still have it. Uh, it's a, it's a, it's a little tight right now, but <laughs> I told Scott, I am going to have so much fun when I get back down to my goal weight because, oh my gosh, I've had to remove things from my closet, y'all. And because it was getting a little overwhelming. And so I told him, I said, once I get back down to that goal weight, I'm gonna pull out every article of clothing I own from every little nook and cranny that I put them and have the biggest try on ever one day to decide what to keep, what to let go of. I might include y'all in that. That might be fun. <gasps> that would be a fun video. I couldn't do the whole thing because that would be a very long video. I could break it down. I could be like, all right, here's the tops. Oh, <laughs> y'all, I have so many clothes. That just the tops would be a long video. All right, that's brewing in my mind. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Okay, that top is by Mason and Bell, and it is $44. Okay, guys, as they say in YouTube world, let's get this try on started and see what I cannot live without. Okay, you guys, I have on the white pants. Um, I didn't put it on with any of the shirts that I got because they're not long enough. Uh, you know, white pants, they just don't leave anything to the imagination. You know what I mean? But y'all, I actually do like these white pants. Now, I would always wear a long tunic type top with them, um, but I like where they hit me. I like the length. They're super comfortable. They're in the description, it said they were mid-rise, and I guess they are for most people. <laughs> I think I'm very short-waisted because these fit right above my belly button, so they almost feel high-rise. But y'all, they're super comfortable, super, super comfy, and I think I really like them. I just have to have a long shirt with them, you know what I mean? Now I'm going to go put on a pair of jeans. Blue jeans, not white jeans, blue jeans, and try on the rest of the tops. So here is this little Mason and Bell top, and yes, it fits exactly like the other one I have. Um, now this one is a size up, that's okay. We're not gonna talk about that. Um, I think it's really cute, y'all. I like the color. 
I like the print. I like the way it's made. And I think it'll be really pretty with a navy blue sweater if I'm cold or, uh, you know, if we go out to eat or if I wear it to church. I've got a sweater in mind. Hold on. Actually, a, a Stitch Fix sweater. So I think it was really cute with this. The colors work well. And anyway, I think this is adorable. I actually really love this. Okay, let's keep going. So far, so good, you guys. Although the white jeans definitely have to have something long to wear them. I think I really like them. And I love this. Fingers crossed, y'all. Here is this little navy blue top, and y'all, I love it. I think it's really sweet. I like the little tie. I like the little flutter sleeve. You know I love the navy blue. So it's, you know, this is just a really easy top to wear. It's good with solids. It's good with prints because it is a solid. I throw it on with jeans, or I could dress it up with a skirt or um, maybe some palazzo pants or something like that, but... I think it's really cute and also I don't know why but as soon as I put it on I thought of this kimono that I have I got from my um, kimono I got from my very first Trendsend box I remember this yeah I think this looks cute together I really do I like this a lot together I love this kimono I've always loved this kimono um so yeah y'all yeah. three out of three so far do you know what I'm feeling yeah I'm feeling it, y'all, because I think that other top, unless the color is terrible on me, I think the other top's going to be great, and it's going to come down to that dress, you guys, the one that I chose, the one piece that I chose. My dogs are really wanting to get in here. I may have to let them in here, but they don't actually like being in here with the door shut, so we'll see. We'll see. I'll be right back. Y'all, we could be, we could be doing a, my, wouldn't that be fun if my very first Stitch Fix coming back is a five out of five? I think that would be a great way to celebrate bringing back the Stitch Fix. This is really cute. Y'all tell me honestly though, is this color okay on me? Because that's the only thing I'm really hesitant about. I think the shirt is really cute. I like all the little pleating detail. It's very soft. Um, I wish it was a little bit longer, but I, I think it's fine. Um, I just think it's really cute, y'all. You know me, I'm always thinking, I'm always thinking about, you know, I've got this to go with it or that to go with it. That's just how I, my brain works. So I do have this little sweater that I think will be so cute with it. Let me try it on. I think I got this sweater from Loft two years ago. Um, and the little embroidery flowers it's like, look, it's like a perfect, isn't it like a perfect match? But isn't that cute together? I like it. And I think the, the blue, I think this just compliments. I don't know. I just love it. I love it. What do y'all think? Okay. All I have left y'all is the dress. <laughs> now <laughs> you might want to put some sunglasses on because these legs are pasty white, but it is what it is y'all. It is what it is. I know you can handle it. I'll be right back. All right, guys, here's the dress. I love the color of this dress. I think it fits fine. I think it's really cute. So I've got it on with some pretty low heels, just slides that are neutral. And I think that gives it a little bit dressier feel. And of course, as I've always said, if I wear this to church, I'm gonna need a sweater. I think that background color is navy blue. It might be black. I'm not sure, but I think it would look okay with navy blue. So let me try that navy blue sweater on that I had and see what y'all think. I think this works. I like the length of it. I think this looks good with this. I would be super comfortable wearing this to church. Um, it's a nice little spring, you know, floral. But I'm going to dress it down a little bit now and put some flat sandals on and my denim jacket. Okay, so I'm, I'm filming this Saturday morning, you guys. And um, I chose Saturday morning because I knew Scott would be out of the house and it's just easier to do when I'm just here by myself. I don't, he didn't have to worry about being quiet or anything like that. And guess who snuck back home before I'm finished though? And I can't just not have him come in because you know, you <laughs> look who it is. You, yeah, oh, I've got the camera angled for me and yeah, there we are. There you go. <laughs> So I told him that you've got a stitch fix coming soon. And so our next stitch fix will be a duo. That's right. A duo. It's been a while. Yep, it has. So that you know what he you know what he's been out doing? Do you know what he does every Saturday morning, y'all? He's gonna be embarrassed. He goes over not every Saturday morning, but as many as he can, and he does work for my mom and dad. Like he works around the yard and gets on the roof and does things like that to keep my mom off the roof because she would try to do it. Right. <laughs> 
<laughs> so anyway, so that's what he's been out doing. And now, now what are you doing? Or have you been there yet? No, I haven't been there yet. Yeah, he it's was pouring down rain. Oh, oh, yeah, it is. <laughs> Y'all, I'm so oblivious. <laughs> but where have you been? <laughs> I uh, got the oil change, got my hair cut. Oh, that's right. That's then right. Then I was going to stop, but it started raining. It started raining. Now I go do paperwork. So now he gets to go do work in his office over there. Okay. Say bye to the people. Bye, I peeps. <laughs> we'll see you in a couple weeks. That's right. All right. I'm going to finish showing y'all this wrap. dress, and we'll wrap it up. Okay. And there he goes. Okay. All right. So I put this dress on with flats, just some little flat sandals, and then my little denim jacket. And... This is adorable, y'all. This is, I, I think it is. You know, and I always say that <laughs> I, I'm really blind. Now, I look in the mirror when I put something on, and so I can, you know, I can kind of tell. But when I, I can't really see on the camera when I'm filming, um, it, I just can't. So, one thing that really helps me decide is when I'm editing. I go back and, I, you know, I have to edit. So, I'm seeing everything as y'all are seeing it. And sometimes I think, oh, that's five out of five. That's a slam dunk. I'm getting all of it. And then I watch the video and I'm like, oh no, mm -mm, no, 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 no. You're not getting that. <laughs> or y'all will tell me, oh, Melissa, we love you, but that looked terrible on you. No, nobody ever says that, but I don't care if you do. That'd be fine with me. That'd be fine with me. Um, anyway, I, I kind of like everything I tried on everything I tried on so far, you know, as far as what I've seen so far is what I mean. So, okay, you guys tell me, do you think I have a five for five on my very first Stitch Fix back? Or should I just keep one piece and put that $25 towards it and call it good? Y'all tell me what y'all think I ought to do. This was so much fun and it wasn't near as weird and awkward as I thought it was gonna be. I thought, oh God, I'm gonna feel so weird, but y'all, it's just like riding a bike. So you just get right back up on, okay? All right, you guys, I hope y'all are having a really blessed, wonderful Saturday and I hope all you mommies out there have an amazing Mother's Day tomorrow. And until we get back together again, as always, you guys stay safe, you stay well, be blessed, and I'm out.